This is my new TIG 200P from Arc Captain, and today we are going to try to learn how to TIG weld for the first time. I've never TIG welded before, but today we are going to try to give it a shot and we can learn together. So I'm going to start by setting up the machine and getting the torch ready. I'm using these 2.4 lanthanated 2% tungsten electrodes, which I have cut in half and I've sharpened both ends using this attachment that goes onto my little Dremel here. So now that we have our electrodes ready, I'm going to set up the TIG torch. So I'm using a number seven cup with a stubby gas lens. Got my electrode here, call it on the back, and then the stubby end here and after watching a couple youtube videos this seems to be a pretty good setup for beginners here so i'm going to try to do this one see how that works out so now i'm going to assemble the torch put on this insulator cup screw on our stubby gas lens and then we can slide our electrode through here put our collet on the back end start screwing on this Next, putting our cup on, going to adjust this in a little bit. From what I've seen, this tip shouldn't stick out more than the diameter of your cup here. So I'm going to try and have it just about there, and then I'll tighten this down in the back. That will lock everything in, so now our torch is ready to go onto our machine. I'm going to set up the machine now, start by plugging in our TIG torch to the negative side. This is for the gas fitting here. And we have the ground cable plugging into the positive side. The last connection we have on the front is our control. I'm using a foot pedal. We'll go ahead and plug this in. So all the connections on the front. On the back, we just plug it into the wall and hook up the gas. So here we have 100% argon gas. Go ahead and remove this protective cover. Just gonna do a little purge here to make sure we have no debris. And then we can screw the regulator on. Now we just need to connect the hose from the tank to the machine. Then the last thing we need to do is just plug it into power. Now our machine is ready to go. We just have to dial in some settings, turn on the gas and adjust that, and I'll be ready to start my first welds. So I'm going to start out by welding two millimeter thick steel. So I have this on DC TIG, I have it on 2T so I can control the amperage with the pedal. From what I've seen online, you want about 40 amps per millimeter of thickness of steel, and then also plus like 10% if you're using the pedal so you can adjust it a little bit. So I'm gonna leave this at 100 amps here and then have my pulse turned off. And I also have the post gas set at five seconds to cool down the electrode after welding. I think these settings are good on here. You just have to adjust the gas and then start welding. I'm gonna set this gas to roughly two times the cup size on my torch, which is a seven. So I'm gonna set this to 14 cubic feet per hour. Start by opening up our valve here. Okay, holding down this pedal, I'm going to set this to 14 cubic feet per hour. And I'm looking at the pure argon side, which is this side here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna start by trying to maintain a good arc length and just do a couple dry runs just like this, trying to keep that same tip distance the whole time, which is pretty hard to do. Okay, now I'm going to try to strike an arc and keep that same arc length the whole time going across. Do that a couple times. No filler metal, just with the electrode. Okay, it started the arc, but then it's stuck to the plate, so I must have touched it to the plate. I think that was my best one yet. Okay, and the last one actually made a little bit of a puddle and was trying to push that. So I feel pretty good about 
that one there. So here's a couple passes using no filler, just the tungsten electrode. And I burned through up there and down here actually on purpose, just so I could feel how much amperage I was adding with the pedal. So I had a couple of good lines here where I was able to hold a steady arc length. Obviously using a plastic clamp wasn't the smartest idea there. So far I feel kind of comfortable with this. It's kind of nice that you can like see how much of a puddle and how hot you're doing versus with using the pedal. So you can vary that a little bit. So I do like that portion of this machine and I guess most TIG machines with a pedal. The next thing I'm going to do is just try to form a puddle and then just add a little dab of filler metal. Try to do that until I can feel comfortable with it. I'm not trying to make a bead or anything, just get a puddle, put a little dab in there just so I can get comfortable adding in this filler. Here's where we're at so far. This is definitely hard to do. It takes a lot of skill and practice, but hey, this is where we're starting and we can only go up from here. All right, it's the next day and I have a fresh electrode on here and I'm going to attempt to make a cube today. I'm gonna to try to tack it all together first, see if we can make a cube essentially. Got these two together. I'm gonna try to put another piece on here. Maybe one of these to keep it square. I figured you guys didn't wanna watch me struggle on this whole cube, but I fully welded it up. You know, obviously not the best TIG welder. This is literally my second time ever trying to TIG weld. But the point is this machine from Mark Captain is super easy to use, it's user friendly. You can take someone like me who's never TIG welded before and start to at least get the hang of some, some stuff. So now I'm gonna to try to weld some aluminum, which is a great function of the TIG machine that you don't have on a MIG machine unless you have a spool gun. First thing I'm going to do here is change this from DC to AC. We can look at the Hertz on here. So we're setting this at 100 Hertz, then we have 30% AC balance. So, so these are just some settings I found online for aluminum. And like I said before, I'm not trying to teach anything. I'm trying to learn here. I'm just showing you the settings that I found online. So if you find something else that works better and go ahead and use that. But now I'm going to try and weld some aluminum and see how that goes. So here's a couple welds I did on the aluminum. Seems to be a little bit easier than steel for me at least, because I guess it just melts a little bit faster. It's kind of easier to lay down some filler rod in there. So I'm gonna try to weld these two pieces of aluminum together and see how I do there. I was able to weld these two pieces together. And guys, this is my first time welding aluminum. This is my second time using a TIG welder in general. So this is definitely doable for people. Obviously I still have a lot to learn and I need a lot more practice. I'm not gonna show the pulse function of this machine and pulse is used for welding really thin material. So the material we have is only one millimeter thick. So I am gonna lower this amperage down a little bit and like that. So then I'm just gonna change our pulse from no to yes. And this is the pulse here, leaving that about 1.6. So with the pulse turned on, I'm just gonna try to lay some beads down on this flat one millimeter thick plate. And with the pulse, it should allow me to not burn through the material and still put down a nice bead. So here's what those beads look like on the thin aluminum. So the pulse works really well and it's pretty easy to use. 
The main point of this video was to show that this machine is a good machine to learn how to TIG weld on and I support it 100%. So I just want to thank Art Captain for sending this machine out. It does great. It's great for learning. Has all the features you could need. And yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to learn how to TIG and then eventually I can make my own intakes and do some exhaust work. It's limitless with the TIG machine of what you can do. So thanks guys for watching this video. I'll have the link to this machine down in the description below. So if you want to get into TIG welding, a lot cheaper than some of the bigger brands i definitely recommend this art captain tig 200p you guys can definitely do this don't be scared to just try to learn something new and this is a great way to get into it a very cost effective option i'm going to try to break this weld to see how strong it is for my first attempt there okay i'd say it's pretty pretty strong yeah i can't as hard as i can bend it and stay in so i'm good with that